at last. October is behind us, November is here, and we have a few short weeks of peace before the real torture begins. Yes, it's November, and there are certain things you know you can count on. One of those is that a lot of people in the YouTube food and drink space will make an obligatory video about something pumpkin flavored. I did this last year. They came out okay. Another certainty is leftover pumpkin pie, because those Costco pies are massive. So this year I thought I'd try something a bit different. A drink that combines the two and actually tastes like pumpkin pie. Here's what you'll need. One bottle of Barbadian rum, one bottle of Jamaican rum, molasses syrup. This was invented by bar genius Jeffrey Morgenthaler. If you'd like to know more about this unique ingredient and see how it's made, you can here. Back to ingredients. Angostura bitters, vanilla ice cream, and a slice of pumpkin pie. And if right now you're thinking, a whole slice of pumpkin pie? What the f dude? Don't worry, I'll feed you baby birds. Here's how you make this. To a blender, add two ounces or 60 mils of rum from Barbados, half an ounce or 15 mils of rum from Jamaica, the same volume of molasses syrup, and heavy Angostura bitters. Now, depending on the size of your Ango bottle and how full it is, a dash can vary wildly. This bottle is new, so I'm doing about 15. If the same bottle were half full, I could get away with five. Dash accordingly. Add a large scoop of vanilla ice cream or non-dairy alternative of your choice, and yes, a whole slice of pumpkin pie. Like I said, you've got leftovers. Add ice and blend. Now you probably don't know this, but there's a cocktail channel on YouTube called How to Drink, and that guy pretty much has the market cornered on slow motion and cocktail videos. For this reason, I swore I'd never do slow-mo in my videos, but I'm gonna break my own rule here. I mean, I'm about to blend a slice of pie, how could I not? Pour into a float glass and optionally top with canned whipped cream and grated cinnamon. Congrats, you did it. <laughs> so first off, this is not a rum bomb, nor is it a pumpkin pie bomb for that matter. The mellowness of the Bajan rum is definitely the foundation. There's a little bit of pizzazz from the Smith & Cross. If you don't have access to Smith & Cross or Jamaican rum gives you the willies, you could use just Barbadian rum, or really any aged rum for that matter. And by aged rum, I mean a rum with an actual age statement, not a fake number like cask 21 or whatever. Something that says this rum is X years old. Another thing is that by blending the whole slice, you get some of those doughy pastry notes from the crust. Yeah, this is great. I'm looking forward to trying this recipe with different pies and spirits. Next time I do it with pumpkin, I'm using bourbon. If you liked it, hit like, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and if there's something you think I should try, let me know in the comments. Take care and I'll see you soon.